Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your daily afternoon news brief for Thursday. Berea police officers were recently dispatched to Center Street in reference to a disturbance. When they arrived, they encountered the homeowner and Christina P. Harvey inside the residence. Harvey was allegedly acting erratic, according to police, and had a wound with blood on her wrist. A search of the kitchen turned up a large rock and a broken glass door window, according to the citation. However, police report that Harvey denied using the rock to get into the victim's home and instead gave conflicting stories as to how she made her way into the residence while the victim had been sleeping. She was arrested and is now charged with second-degree burglary. WBONTV recently sat down with Brandon Sears, agent for agriculture and natural resources of the Madison County Extension Office. Sears gave us valuable information about what hemp means to farmers who grow this cash crop in Kentucky and Madison County and how they make the money from it. He also discussed the struggles farmers have endured following legislation and changes across Kentucky. You can watch the video up now to get all the information about these changes in local agriculture. And a bill that would expand the authority of the Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron to enforce abortion law has gained approval from a Kentucky House committee. This bill seeks to expand Cameron's power to regulate abortion facilities and cleared by a 15-5 vote. Cameron, who is anti-abortion, could now take action against clinics without approval from the Governor Bashir. And one of the best kept secrets in Madison County, the Spotlight Playhouse, is preparing for a special series of shows starting tomorrow night. The show will not only provide hours of local fun and entertainment, but will also benefit children in the area. The Good Person is a show adapted from a German play to take place in Kentucky with familiar personalities. All of the proceeds from the play will go towards the Children's Acting School Scholarship Fund. The Good Person begins showing Friday, March 6 at 8 p.m. and is showings this weekend as well as next weekend. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.